Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? Oh my goodness, you guys, <clears throat> it's allergy season. My allergies are so bad right now. I have a pink eye, or right here, I have a pink eye. So much is going on and I just can't stop coughing, but I'm trying the home remedies that my mom told me about and also taking my antibiotics and uh, hopefully I feel better. But how are you doing? You know, we're officially in spring season in 2023. How exciting. I love spring. I love summer. Winter is over. Hopefully behind us, no more snow wherever you live. But I hope you guys are doing amazing. If you're new to my channel, hello. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. For those of you who are new, I'm here in Dallas. I'm an attorney and I would love to spread information on life and tips and tricks as I live life, I don't want you to make the same mistakes that I do. I would love to inform you about the law, love to inform you basically overall on self-help, self-growth, because that's what I'm all about. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with my videos. And seriously, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for everybody who has subscribed and who have been watching my videos and liking my videos. It means so much that you take time out of your day just to dedicate to me. So thank you so, so much. So as you guys could tell by the title of this video, today I will be talking about a very important topic and it's none other than how to su successfully, effectively negotiate your salary with your boss. So this is something that pretty much everybody wants to do, but it's definitely not easy. So with my experiences that I've had over the years of my paid internship days, over the years of being with an employer <clears throat> before I branched out on my own and started my own business, I will tell you what I have done and I can tell you it was effective and it worked. So today I will be talking and focusing on three main points. The first one I'm going to talk about is to ask, right? Without asking, you won't receive. So the first step is to ask for a raise. Whether you're starting fresh at a new company or you've been with a company and maybe it's your six month review or annual review, you know, make sure you ask. And if they don't ask you, make sure you ask because it's important. And if you don't ask now, what's the guarantee that you will actually get the raise or you will actually get a higher salary than what they're offering you. You won't know until you ask. And I actually lived by this, uh, you know, through my experience because for example, when I was in law school, I had an internship and it was a paid internship with an attorney. He was amazing. I miss him so much. He's in Boston, uh, but it was with a personal injury firm. And so it was a paid internship. So I wasn't getting paid like, you know, weekly. It was kind of like a big stipend payment at the end of my uh, internship period with him. And it was typically by semester. So at the end of every semester, he would give me a check. And I remember, <laughs> I actually think every check he gave me, I basically handed it back and I was like, you know, I deserve more which is so funny, oh my gosh. I think it's actually every check he gave me. I mean, he's such a nice guy. Um, so basically, what I'm saying is, if I never asked, and you guys, when I tell you this, I was debating so many times in my head when I saw the amount on my check. You know, is this, is this sufficient? Is this compared, is this an equal amount compared to the work I have done? You know, I was going through all these questions and I'm like, if I ask, will that look bad? Because I'm still a student, you know, I'm just an intern, like uh, so many questions, right? But I came down to the point of if I don't ask him, I will regret it. And I told him that too. I told him that I, that's actually how I started the conversation with him. And I'm so happy I did because I ended up getting what I wanted. Okay, so the second topic I want to talk about is be prepared for this conversation you're going to have with your boss by knowing your self-worth, by knowing everything you have accomplished, and by knowing what you know you can accomplish. 
So this is very important because when you ask for a raise, for a bonus, for a higher salary than what they offer for the job, it's very important that you make a reasonable counter offer, right? You have to make sure what you're asking for is reasonable because otherwise it's unfair and there's no basis to it. It's just, it's just gonna be a number, right? So what do I mean by take a look at your self-worth and accomplishments, right? So if it's a new job, for example, Take a look at and analyze how many successful projects you have been a part of, how many successful outcomes have you had with your previous employer? How soon did you accomplish those tasks, right? How soon did you complete your tasks? You know, talk about and focus on like how much of an impact you made on that company. Maybe you made them extra money, extra income, you know, focus analyze everything i'm telling you analyze everything and if, and if you've been on the job and your six month review is coming up your annual review is coming up definitely keep a log of you know all the projects cases whatever you are assigned whatever you're working as and keep a tally you know how many of those became successful how many of those uh, did you put in great work how many of those did you contribute how many of those did you take lead in you know, how many of those did you complete within a uh, efficient amount of time? All these play a huge part in this conversation that you will be having with your boss. So for example, with my internship, I would keep track in a notebook all the tasks that I would work on every day, right? And that truly helped me because I realized that by the end of the semester, I forgot a lot of the tasks that I worked on at the beginning of the semester, right? And I'm like, oh shoot, I actually did that. And that was a big deal, you know, or I, I got that done within uh, the required time limit, even though it was a lot of pressure on me. So it's very important to keep track, take a notebook, even if it's on your phone, uh, of all the work that you do. That will truly help you to analyze you know, how much your self-worth is, how much you can bring to the table. So for example, <coughs> another example, sorry, my cough. Another example I wanna talk about is I was working for a medium-sized law firm in Boston um, before moving here. And I was there for under a year because I got married and moved here. <clears throat> but the time I was there, I remember that from day one, right? I would jot down every case that I was handed and I would make up, up updates, personal updates in my head and in my notebook on the progress, how many of those were successful, how many trials I've done, how many of those were successful. If I was you know, placed as the lead attorney on a case, which I was placed as the lead attorney for a whole department, a whole workers' compensation department within the firm. So that was at the top of my list, right? And so just like that, I would jot down everything. And so at this firm, the time I was working there, they would do six month reviews, which is great because a lot of companies, they do annual reviews, but thankfully this company, they did six months reviews. So I was like, you know, going over my list and thinking about, okay, I knew I was gonna ask if they didn't give it to me and I was going over everything to come up with a number that I thought was reasonable for my raise, for my six month raise. But thankfully for me, I didn't have to ask, I didn't have to say anything because I was offered a very, very generous bonus um, that I was super happy with and I took. And it didn't make sense for me to ask anything on top of that. So thankfully, it worked out. My employer and I were on the same page, but that might not be the case for you. And that's not the case for a lot of people, right? So that's why I strongly suggest, number one, to ask for your raise because you deserve it. Number two, keep a note, analyze your accomplishments, analyze everything I'm telling you, and make sure you know your self-worth, the accomplishments that you have done, and what you know you can bring to the table. The third main thing I wanna talk about is to, <coughs> sorry, that cough caught me off guard, is to stay professional, 
stay respectful, right? And have a reasonable number. So sometimes when it comes to money, when it comes to finances, there could be some pressures, frustrations that could be driving our actions and our words, right? So if we really need that raise or we really need that income, you know, we might just be under so much pressure and anxiety, everything to just get there, right? So it's very important that before you have this conversation, important conversation with your boss, is that you stay, you remind yourself that you're in a professional working environment. You need to be professional. You need to be respectful. You need to be calm and collected. And, <coughs> sorry, and be prepared for a negative answer, right? So sometimes they just might not give you what you're asking for. That's a very likely outcome. So you have to prepare yourself for such a reaction right, for such an answer. So you don't want to be all of a sudden be filled with anger and frustration, right, and say something back to your boss that you would regret, right, because you always wanna maintain professional relationships, okay, always. Well, I wanna go through a rundown, just a sample uh, conversation, right, that I have had with my uh, attorney while I was interning. So obviously I don't remember the conversation word for word, but I wanna give you guys like an example, just so you can like understand the gist and how to go about it because you, it can be confusing. So at this time I was still in law school, still learning. I uh, got my check, it's the end of the semester. I see the number, I'm thankful, but I also think I deserve more. And I remember this was uh, <clears throat> during lunch. So the attorney took me out to lunch afterwards after he gave me the check. So I'm just like sitting there like, how do I go about this conversation? But I did it. So oh, here's what I said. <clears throat> you know, I'm so thankful for this internship, especially getting this opportunity while you having it alongside my studies, because obviously like you know, learning in law school is not the same thing as actually practicing the law so i'm just so thankful for meeting you at that career fair and for landing this internship and for your faith in me so thank you so much and then they'll say whatever and then you can say you know i i am thankful for the first stipend that i got this is super super exciting um <clears throat> and i but i do have to be truthful and i believe that if i don't bring this up to you I will regret that choice. So like I'm so while I'm so thankful for this number, for this amount, I truly believe that I deserve more for the work that I have done this past semester. You know, for example, uh, you asked me to get this done within this time crunch, but I had an exam, but I made sure to get it done. You know, like I was I'm so happy to have been a part of that huge settlement uh, with that presentation that I had helped you out with, um, you know, talk about all these, all your accomplishments, and then be like, uh, so I was hoping uh, uh, to receive uh, more in return for all my efforts this past semester. So mind you, like I'm saying this with like a gentle voice, but with confidence, and you know, I'm not like pushy or forceful, I'm not like angry that like, I didn't get the number I wanted, right? Like you have to be like professional and reasonable and you know, respectful, so, and I'm smile. I'm a person who tends to smile, especially when I'm nervous, I smile a lot. I don't know why, but that doesn't, that's not good in some cases, right? Because sometimes I'm nervous before I judge. And if I'm smiling and the case is serious, that's not good. But anyway, side note, smile. Smiling helps and it helps ease the tension if there is any tension between you and your boss, right? So that's kind of how my conversation went the overall gist and I can tell you my boss took it like a boss right he was understanding he listened he didn't interrupt me he let me get my point across and you know what he told me he told me and I will never forget this that he is proud of me for asking he's proud of me for asking and he said as a lawyer that's very good because if you think that your client you know the the money that they're offered to settle the case it's not enough, you need to ask. So he saw that 
you know, what I did as like a good side as an attorney, as a growing attorney as well. So there you go. See, because I asked, it ended up having a great outcome. So you know what he did? He told me to rip up that check. <laughs> And he said, after lunch, we'll go back to his office and he will write me a new check. And boom, I got it. I was happy. He was happy. I was happy. And there you go. So you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Okay, I'm going to wait. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you hit it? You guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And I, I really, I really hope this video helped. Um, Everything I told you, it's raw, it's real, it's uh, true life experiences that I want to tell you so that it can help you and guide you, uh, you know, the next time you have to go through the same thing. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Okay, you guys, but that's all for today's video. I will see you guys next week. Please pray for me for my allergies to feel better. I'm tired of coughing and I'm tired of this pink guy situation, but it did get a lot better. Shout out to my sister for, you know, like being on call doctor for me literally all the time. Thank you, JT. I love you. <laughs> if you hope, if you watch this video, you will know what that I give you a shout out. Okay. So, okay. Anyway, you guys, bye, bye, bye.